Have you ever noticed that when you're told to do one simple task, you end up doing a lot more when you really didn't have to? Well, that's what the Lao Kids found out in the episode I'm going to talk about today. So join me as I, Steam Team Read Up UK, CC Trainer Ling, bring you another retro review from past seasons of The Loud House. Cue the intro! Today's episode is Lock and Loud. In this episode, the kids decide to upgrade the security of their house by doing more than just locking the front door, something they keep forgetting to do no matter how many times their dad brings it up. This is one of the funniest episodes of the second season, and it's really easy to see why. The kids set up so many different kinds of security measures inside and around the perimeter of their house, and they effectively created a Home Alone-style prison environment for anyone who tries to step foot on their property. What I really liked was how each of the kids had something to contribute and got to have a mini spotlight moment. Very literally in the case of Lola standing in a guard tower. They went out of their way to lock down their house not only so they could get their dad off their backs about reminding them to lock the door at night, something my brother and I sometimes forgot to do when we were kids, but also because it's indicated how crime is very rare in their town. Their dad warns them about recent burglaries, so it's understandable why they would break out a police scanner, hide all their possessions in one room of the house, and hire security to combat something their neighborhood never really sees. But even after the original burglar is caught, they go right back to how they were before by undoing all their security measures and leaving the front door unlocked. Not to mention not taking their dad very seriously when he says there could be other burglars on the loose. The kids only went back to their total lockdown mentality after they found out Mr. Grouse was supposedly robbed, although that turned out to be a ploy set up by their dad to scare them straight, and it worked. From getting even more security guards in the form of Lynn's roller derby team to finally remembering to lock the door, this led to the wackiest sequence of the episode where Lynn Sr. tried to get back inside the house he insisted his kids keep locked at all times. The kids spot someone in a dark hoodie trying to break in. They have the supposed criminal fall right into all the traps they set up in zany Home Alone style fashion, and they come to realize they just beat the ever-loving hell out of their own dad. Then Mr. Grouse spills the beans on the plan Lynn Sr. concocted, and that's when the typical liar-revealed apology from the dad takes place. However, I'm not even critical about this. Lynn Sr. faking a burglary to get his kids to understand how important it is to lock the door at night was a good move on his part. Sure, his kids went overboard by doing more than just doing the basics even though he was the one who said they needed to take this burglary thing seriously, but his intentions on wanting to protect his family is what a good father does. He wouldn't have said or done what he did if he didn't care. His family came to realize this as well, and they all embraced in a group hug, while Charles, noticing some bacon stuck to the dad, finally became the attack dog Lon had been training him to be throughout the episode. That's the irresistible power of bacon for ya. The only thing I didn't really care for was Lenny falling in love with a mannequin during her karate training with Lynn and Lola. I know this takes place prior to season 4 where she has a friendship with a mannequin at her job, but this was another season 2 example of how Lenny is presented as more stupid than naive. Even though I did find it a tad funny to see how her life's work was not being able to put together a simple 6 piece kids puzzle, something about her wanting to take a selfie with a lifeless dummy and wanting to run off to Mexico with it just didn't sit right with me. I guess it's kinda funny depending on who you are, but it just wasn't for me. Overall, this episode may come off as crazy and over the top with the kids turning their home into a penitentiary when all they had to do was just lock the front door, but it was the kind of cartoon crazy that was hilarious enough for it to not get annoying by any point in the story. The humor was pretty solid, the kids all worked together to keep themselves safe, and this was one of the best examples of Lynn Sr. showcasing how great of a father he can be, despite sometimes being on the receiving end of things that he technically had a hand in creating. He cares about his kids so much that he'll straight up do something sneaky if it means protecting the ones he calls his most important valuables. Oh, and I can't forget about the creepy Lisa moments this episode had. Those weird faces she makes are always so eerily terrifying, and yet it just works for a character like her. Lenny may have been a negative, but the rest of the episode makes up for it. With that said, I give Lock and Loud an 8.9 out of 10. Well, folks, that concludes my review of Lock and Loud. So I gotta ask, what did you guys think of this episode? Sound off in the comments below, and be sure to click that subscribe button for more Loud House related content. That's going to do it for me. I'll catch you guys for the next video, but until then, this is Steam Team Read up UK, CC Trainer Ling, signing off. Peace out, home slices.